Coming to you live from the backseat of a 1984 Holden Kingswood. It's time for Destiny Down Under. G'day and welcome to the 175th episode of the Destiny Down Under podcast. As every week, I'm Log Power Slave. And as per every week, I am joined by Mylan Crucible Loser Games. How you going, mate? What's going on? <laughs> I, no, no, listen here, right? I came against Log on the stream, right? Log normally has family stuff to do in the morning. And I was like, what's this cheeky bastard doing on in the Crucy game? So I said, 1v1 me. We had a 1v1. I, I tell you what, right now, there was a moment where you're like, oh, my God, is Mylan Games going to take me out here? You, If it wasn't for this mouse. <laughs> no, look, I did all right. Come you on. did all right. Oh, yeah. And, oh, hold on. How, how, do you know how you got seven of those kills? Yeah, heavy. <laughs> yeah, fucking heavy, you dog. <laughs> yeah, but I just played to control it. That's how you win, Matt. Strategy. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Um, oh, no, I, yes. I thought you've got to introduce me as take a book from my page. Yeah, that, that, that was, yeah, I, I couldn't remember it. I didn't want to fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I just went, with, just went with the base level insult of Crucible Loser, but that was that was great just immediately before the stream. All the funny shit happens just before we start streaming, but I said to Matt, I've really got to um, start preparing the DDU tweets like before the thing actually goes fucking live and he goes oh yeah just take a book from my page <laughs> what the fuck hello where am i yeah what year is it so anyway mate how you going what's going on it's been a big week like globally oh mate fuck yeah i guess you know it's uh, I, I there's nothing we can really say on the matter you know apart from you know we support all, all the, uh, you know, the movement, the protests, uh, everything that's happening in the US right now, and that you have you have our support, and, and the people that are protesting here in Australia you have our support as well, and it's it's just been horrific to to see the stuff on Twitter. It's honestly like I haven't I've hardly worked this week because I need to turn Twitter off. It, it it's it's every time I see something, I'm like this is this is just so so horrible, and I feel like- for everyone over there waking up and being in some horrible dystopian future where <laughs> where it's yeah. everything's a police state it is just that bad and look like i've been pretty vocal about a few things but really i just want people to shut up and listen listen to the people that are impacted yeah. by this and just listen man you know like that's that's what it's about because you know we can't speak to it but um really? we can absolutely encourage other people to listen and you know like by and large the destiny community does what it always does and that's throw support behind whoever needs it um you know it's pride month this month too so <laughs> there's that it's you know we're it's it's on every front so um, oh did, did i mention there's a pandemic on at the moment yeah, yeah and there's the fucking pandemic that's still going on and man i it really we, does we haven't feel... even seen we haven't even seen what the impact of the pandemic in two weeks time when covid fucking cases spike yeah it's fucking dude Anyway, I, I so look, I don't know. I think so, it's, so what it's we're been, saying is that it's a great it's time a for the week. It's for the Almighty to just come in and actually hit the earth and just be done with it. <laughs> I think we could just fucking done with it. Just call it. That's it. Just stand there with welcoming arms as a giant spaceship <laughs> obliterates it all. But apparently, that's not going to happen because we got we got the the tweet this morning that um that Rasputin's gonna gonna shoot his shot at three a.m. Yeah. or one a.m. your time or ten a.m. if you're in PST. So, do you think it's just going to, I've been asked in chat and chat thinks it's going to be, this is going to be like a fortnight live oh, yeah. event. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I believe. So you, do you reckon, no, but do you think it's going to be a cut scene or do you think something actually is going to happen? I hadn't given that any thought. I think, um, I think, something's, think, I think something's actually going to happen. I think getting everyone like this frothing for just a bit of a cut scene. 
would be a little bit underwhelming. I think that um, Dude, whatever it is. Dude, service on a coat? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> when you get beavered out and miss the event. <laughs> Oof. Um, I'm sure, like, look. I mean, Destiny right now, population isn't as massive as it has been in the past. So I, I'd like to think that it'll, you know, everyone will get into the tower early enough to be able to check out what happens. I, what, what I'm really open for is that, that something that, you know, happens that is best viewed from the tower, which is obviously where the Almighty is best viewed from right now, um, that we see Rasputin go and try and shoot it. And it either works and we get like fireworks in the sky of Almighty explosion. Or it doesn't work, and we all sit there and silently dread. <laughs> oh shit, we're fucked. I I don't know. Um, are you going to get up? Oh, mum and an iron about it. It's three a.m. for me. <laughs> it's kind of the worst possible time. Oh, three. It's one a.m. for me. Yeah, one a.m. is easy. One a.m. I'd still be up anyway. <laughs> no, but I'm meant to be Europe. streaming that morning. So it's, it's, do I go, do you yeah. go to bed after 1 a.m.? No. I don't know. It raises an interesting sort of quandary for us being the, the, the Australians in the mix because for America, it's a pretty convenient time. For England and Europe and all of that, it's a relatively convenient time. We're just on the arse end of the world. So we've got to suck <laughs> it up and deal with it. Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I haven't made my mind up yet. I guess I'll see how I feel tonight. Because I think I will probably stream it. I think I'll get up and do it or I won't yeah. go to bed. Yeah, I don't know. I might call my stream early and then get up or something maybe. I don't know. I haven't really made my mind up. I might I, I might do that and then have a couple, have a nap and then get back on live a bit later on with Danny. Um, but I was thinking because it is highly likely that the servers will go down or people will miss out. So... I might, I might get some backup. Everyone split up, take their own towers, be in Discord, <laughs> be in Discord in case you get beavered or whatever and you can like quickly watch someone's stream. Discord yeah, stream. I mean, that's the other part of me is that it's, as with all things like this, in Destiny, it becomes a community event. So even if you can't get on and experience it for yourself, you can jump in a stream and watch that way. So I'm um and an Aaron. Like I'll definitely be awake. I'll definitely be like there to see what happens. But whether or not I can be fucked getting out of me... Um, well, I don't wear pajamas, so I can't really stream with no gear on. So <laughs> I'll just have to work something out. <laughs> but I don't know. What do you reckon is going to happen? Do you reckon it's this is a... I hope it is something like a... Fort, like, I mean, it's probably the one thing I've ever wanted remotely Fortnite-ish to come to Destiny and that something happens and it has yeah, direct it tangible impact on cool. the world. It always looks cool. I mean, I'm, I actually never put it together before. I never, I never thought that that should be applied to destiny, but it makes a hell of a lot of sense. I mean, then again, the towers don't have a hundred person capacity. So it's going to oh, be a lot yeah, of well, towers being run. How many I people mean, do you fit in the tower? Uh, I don't even know. I think it's a page and a half. So maybe like 20, 20, 18, maybe. 12, 13. They have 26. Yeah, 26. There we go. We've, we've literally everyone in chat said a different number. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> a number knows. a number greater than six <laughs> thanks chat yeah Always i mean we've, been, we've been saying that the only real way not to save this but i think the only real way to give this a proper conclusion with such a sort of concrete story is is to see it blow up yeah or to see it hit the earth one of the two <laughs> That's it. I don't know. I've, I've just got this. Yeah, feeling. but what would happen next week if it fucking hits the earth? We go back to the farm. <laughs> it hits the fucking tower. We go back to the farm, and then you know they change the skyboxes for the farm and the EDZ to super dark because there's dust in there and all that sort of shit. Dust, you know, kicked up and whatever, and they get to hold on. But how big is the Almighty if we can see it from space? It's fucking huge. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, don't you think that it wouldn't be just the tower that got destroyed? Like, don't you think they'll fucking... <laughs> I don't know. How fire? close is the farm to the fucking tower, law boy? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind there's some kind of, like, hyperdrive engine in that fucking thing that stalls time or something. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to hit Earth and just be like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to peace out of here. <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Earth's fucked. Maybe, maybe that's the whole thing. Guess what? We lose the EDZ. We can't go there anymore. Get fucked. Earth's dead. Move on. 
<laughs> We're going back to the reef, boys. <laughs> Fade to black, get fucked. <laughs> Your destiny was to get shit on by a spaceship. <laughs> the end. <laughs> oh, oh. Right. Yeah, well, that's my take on it anyway. But maybe that's been coloured by everything that's going on in the world. It's pretty negative. <laughs> yeah. Like, so how was your? Did anything interesting happen this week for you? Um, not overly. Um. I'm off work for a couple of weeks from this weekend. It's a long weekend oh, here and then dude. I've just got a couple of weeks off. I've, I've been sort of gagging for a, a break dude. for a while. So I might be around annoying. Did you have heaps of overtime from COVID stuff or is it just yeah, normal? I, normal oh, dude, I, I have, I've got leave like coming out of my ass. It's <laughs> I've got heaps of it. So because I normally just take Christmas and, and that's about it. And then, you know, I spent a little bit last year on packs and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm... Just turn it up every day, so I've got plenty. Oh, so does this mean you got to be streaming during the day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get it. at least at least as much as I can. I've still got shit that I've got to do. we can do the Log Power Slave host, the Log Power Slave raid. Oh, yeah, I'm going to just, like, guilt you into raiding me every day. <laughs> just <laughs> go live at fucking 10 to 12 my time and be like, Papa Mylan, some host. <laughs> some host, sir. <laughs> Please, sir. Can I have a host? Can I have yeah, you a know, host? You, when you jump into someone's chat and you leave going, hey, mate, great stream. Got to leave now. Got to start up my own stream. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm just about to stream. I love those people. I've never hosted one of them ever. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one of those things that I think is like a rookie error, a destiny rookie error of just <laughs> jump in and announce what you're doing. But... um. Yeah, so so I've got that. We got look. I think I think Mate, your I'm, hair's getting a bit long. I need a haircut desperately. <laughs> that's 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 one of the things I'm trying to work out what to do with it. Do I grow it? I don't know. I I didn't have it. I went through a period of my life where I didn't have a haircut for 11 years. So I'm not sure that I want to go back to that. But I kind of am getting sick of just getting haircuts all the time. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't I haven't made up my mind. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll put it to a vote in chat. Um, let the DDU audience decide what sort of haircut I should get. It'll almost certainly be a mullet. I reckon um, you should get a top knot. A top knot? I could do that. It's fucking long, man. <laughs> just to, just to come, the DDU comes full circle. Log ends up with a top knot. <laughs> <laughs> Mohawk, braid. I could probably braid it. I'll, I'll talk to the missus. Bowl cut. Yeah, sick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bowl cut. We're going for that. We're going to go out and get can some Tupperware out. Because it's long enough. Can you please do a bowl cut for one episode? <laughs> Just comb it down. <laughs> yeah, comb it down and literally put a fucking bowl in your Have you seen, you ever read it. fucking Dilbert comics? I know that like the dude that yeah. makes Dilbert's a horrible racist piece of shit. But <laughs> Dilbert comics where the boss has that hair that goes, <laughs> it'd, it'd be exactly that. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Um, it's a good week. Well, not really, yeah. but yeah, I hear you. It's um it's it's been it's been not a bad week given like on a personal level but holy shit um the other thing that like I'm really excited by in and this is just a general statement about next season with Destiny is that normally by now we know literally everything about the season that we're going into yeah I'm pretty chuffed that we know next to fucking nothing bar yeah. Rasputin's gonna take his shot tomorrow and that's it yep you know like I mean obviously there's you get the you get that. I want to know what I'm getting for my ten dollars. Fuck wits out there, but like for fun. <laughs> Holy shit, that was a good impression. Yeah, Holy no. shit. Someone clip that. I need to look at it later. <laughs> um, I, I, like you know, you get that crowd, but for me, like I've, I've, we've always kind of had the shits with like Destiny content where you get shown two thirds of it before you get to experience it. So. On, on that front, I'm happy, but I'm also happy because I honestly believe that this season will heavily telegraph where the big expan expansion that they seem to be teasing that's going to come in probably September when they always come, right? Like, So yeah. I think it's, it's, it's going to set in play events that they want to like be able to speak about on the day with this reveal stream that's coming up on the, on the 6th. What, what is it? Fucking, it's not the 6th, it's the whatever reset is, 8th. 
no not yeah a, yeah that day there's um there's so many like chess pieces at the moment um yeah. and uh, it's like everything's coming together how much of that's going to come in, to come together for the next season or is this is is next season just going to blue ball you again for the September release? <laughs> I don't know. I think I think Bungie have a history of you know we've we've spoken about this before where like Season of Opulence was the strongest of that year's offering, right? And it was the last season. It had a raid before a season that had another raid, right? Like so, I don't think we we inherently need to assume that because it's the last season of the season pass. As much as I'm not going to say that it's wrong. To, to feel this way, but I, I don't think we need to assume that it's going to be light just because it's the last season. I think we've, we've, we've seen that they can deliver that in the past. So, I mean, fingers crossed, obviously things are pretty, you know, bungees under the pump big time in terms of, you know, they've got everyone working in incredibly atypical spaces at home and, and things like that. There's challenges left, right and center. So I think they're due a win. And I think this, uh, this feels, feels positive man it feels like there's something coming that is um that is that is you know it's gonna be it's gonna be a good thing i'm i'm pretty excited about where this is all headed what do you what do you reckon what do you reckon what do you make of these teaser trailers dude what are you how are you feeling about that because you know more about this sort of shit than most or oh, oh, are we giving them the law <laughs> early are we giving them the law well, early wait, how about how about we do this look we'll do this we'll um we'll blue ball them on I've the law for theory. a little while or blue ball i've them. got a good i've got a good fucking theory Okay. All right. Well, we'll circle back to Matt's good theory. We've uh, that was the tease, the blue balling of the. You got to hang around now, kids. Otherwise, you miss out and you have suck it, more hobbits. <laughs> suck it. <laughs> but we'll go through the twob. Uh, obviously, right off the bat is Bungie's support for the Black Lives Matter movement. That is, um, you know, we don't expect anything less from Bungie. They kind of have always led the way in this respect. So, you know, it's it's Mate. nice to be part of a game in a community that that are forever coming up um on the humanitarian side of things it's i mean they've always had they've yeah. always had diversity in all their characters yep from sexualities to to everything anything yep. like it's always been different people different beings different things in bungie to you know being quite diverse so we wouldn't expect anything less from them yeah absolutely and also it's pride month as we said earlier so you can go in you can get your pride pin um, and you can get that, the incredibly beautiful rainbow emblem that I, you, I still see plenty of it. There's, you see it all year round. It's, it's, you know, you see it more at this time of year, obviously, but the, um, the, the rainbow element, uh, rainbow bungee logo thing, the fist with the lightning is, um, you know, it's, it's kind of a staple of the community at this point. I think it's unreal, but we get into the, um, into the actual game stuff after that. So we've got these two, the two teasers, we're going to let, uh, We'll let Maddie talk about them a little bit later, but we, the meat and bones of the twelve, which you know, it's a pretty light one. <laughs> let's be honest, which I'm fine with because I don't want to know anything going into next season. Don't fucking you know, like normally we'd be getting the oh guess what, and and then this this will be come after this, and then you can go and do this activity, and you can fucking. Oh, oh yeah. how how much do you think the person who released the Instagram video early got in trouble? I'd like to think not. I think humans make mistakes like that, but. Yeah, uh, not in trouble. No, not getting in trouble is not the right word. No, nah, how, like, how much? How much do you reckon panic, that person went went oh! <laughs> when they realised <laughs> what they'd done? Shit! And then how fucking hollow do you think they would have felt when it got picked up by some smartass who just happened to be recording with his phone or whatever at the time? Oh, yeah. You know, and then it's on Reddit. But I mean, really, it was only two days early, and it's not exactly a plot revelation rather than. You know the drama. To be honest, it probably it probably worked in their favour. Oh yeah, it really started to stir the pot early. Started yeah. to stir the pot very early. But um, all right. So what we'll do, we'll go through. There's a few eververse changes. If you're into that sort of thing, you can. But the the sandbox shit is um, is where we're really at, and the tr trial specific stuff. So we'll go through that. The sandbox, powerful friends armor mod will no longer stack if multiple copies of the mod are equipped. The mods will provide no bonus stats. So at the moment, you can pump your little mobility up to above a, up to 100 easy peasy uh using that mod i think it's fair enough that they've nerfed it um you know we've had our fun with it there's another mod co coming is, in there wait, is this powerful friends yeah 
Yeah. So. Yeah, I only just I only was told I only learned about that last week. To be honest. Yeah, same. I never really took advantage of it. Bad at Destiny, but anyway. Um, you know how you know how I know when stuff's gonna get banned. When you get it. Yeah. <laughs> you got Antheus wards yet? <laughs> no, nah, but it's coming. No, wait, that was that's the bone I've got to pick with you from our little fucking. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't even use him, did you? No, you I never use him. I don't use dog shit, fucking stupid protecty stuff. Lightning boots, mate. Never. <laughs> Matt Sorry. Matt tried to ban all Titans from his chat too, just because he was butt hurt because I was kicking his ass. Was boot. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um. All right, and an enhanced auto rifle, auto rifle loader, enhanced fusion rifle loader, enhanced bow loader, armor mods. Now I have a chance to drop from pinnacle mod sources, so they're going to be in the in the pool. So exciting stuff. Um, raid rewards: the following raid exotics have increased drop rate chances. One thousand voices, anarchy, and always on time, which is the kind of I, I call it the Back to the Future fucking scourge of the past. Sparrow, I've got it. Yeah. Um, so Anarchy, I'm, I'm actually going to go for that. I haven't got it, so I need to do Neither that. Neither do I. Can, can I be invited, please? Yes. <laughs> We've got a bit of time but, off coming up. We'll, we'll do it one Yeah, day, but hey? not like Menagerie. Not like, not like I'll help you do Menagerie, but never happen. Like, we need to... <laughs> we need to... <laughs> hey, me and look, Log are fucking... We, we are I'm actually gremlins. We're opposite times all yeah. the time. We don't actually, yeah, we don't yeah, actually play that often. I was just about to say that, like, like, if you're watching the podcast, this is the most me and Matt are ever in each other's presence ever. <laughs> yes, this is our literally our, oh, this is the fucking... <laughs> the only overlap. Two, the overlap. This is the overlap <laughs> between our two worlds is the podcast. Um, <laughs> but I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind doing a bit more raids. Yeah, I've, I've really sure. got to pull my finger out. I've been, I've been super lazy with raids sort of over the last year. I think Same. I've done, I've done the new one probably two or three times. I don't like, I'm not, I'm not in it for that. They're not really my bag, but I, I do need to kind of invest a little bit more time. Maybe we'll hit someone competent up to help us. I'm, just, thinking, I'm just going to bug Jason Arpenton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an option too. Jay's pretty solid. <laughs> all right. So, and all right, here's, here's probably the the biggest takeaway I, I got out of this week's 12 episode from all the, the good stuff. Uh, trials rewards. So for the season going f for next season, uh, additional masterwork materials rewards now drop at three, five, and seven trials wins. Added a trials weekly bounty, which unlocks trials engrams from Saint Fourteen. So you don't have to win to get gear anymore. You can go in and and just participate and you know f complete that bounty, and it gives you. Um, the same bit of kit that you will get out of the um, the three win milestone reward. Um, trials tokens distribution has been rebalanced to focus on three, five, and seven wins in the trials passage rather than um, just giving you sort of an arbitrary amount every game to basically stop token farming more or less. So I think it's a good move. Um, what else? All right. Trials tokens no longer are rewarded for match Wait, completions. Wait, so do you get more tokens? Like, does it increase? Like three, five, you get more. Seven, you get more. I'd like to think it would. I'd like to think it would. Um, Just so people don't do the three and then dip. Yeah, well, I mean, even if they do do the three, it's still like you'd still be having to play an extra game to get back to three. It'd be quicker to, if you're really good at the game just to go to five and then go to seven because it's only two. Um, oh right 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 yeah uh so yeah they're not being rewarded from completion anymore and the passage of wealth now doubles the bonus trials tokens from three five and seven so if you're in it for the coins um passage of wealth absolutely get in and um and go that path because it seems to be the most rewarding way but it'll be interesting to see what impact this has on um on the trials population you know it's taken a massive hit sort of over the back end of this season I would really like to see it um to see it pick up. I think most people would because I think it's it is an important part of the game as much as it's uh, incredibly competitive. So if you're out there in chat um and you're not a not a sweat lord, let us know what you think. We we play a few trials games to get your uh, get your award or is it still a bridge too far for you? I think it's uh, important we can we can get some immediate feedback on that. Um the other thing that is in the twelve this week, I'm not going to get into the spe specifics of it, but the remapping of the console controller is a feature that they've added 
to console, obviously. Is it just console? No, I think you can do it on PC. So it's wherever you're using your controller, you can remap the, yeah. the buttons. Do you think this is the the, the 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 hallowed Destiny 2 question? Do you think this is in preparation for crossplay? Mylan games. Where's this connection coming from? I haven't seen it. Is this from the brain of Log Power Slave or did you see this discussion elsewhere? No, I stole it off Etsy and he's smarter than me. Right. <laughs> so. No, I've seen it. It's a conversation I've seen around. So I don't okay. know. Okay. So what, what's the main benefit? Well, I, as someone who's not on console, what was the main issue with the previous console scheme? Was it things like not being able to revive whilst moving and shit like that that made you less competitive? I think so. Was is that I, probably I honestly, the reason? I'm not sure. I mean, I, I'm I'm that out of time. And probably with. jumps, and probably the jump, tiding, skating. Kind of, I, I I imagine it's probably movement. Yeah. Um, so you can make it closer to what, like a scuff controller or something, and um, and reviving whilst whilst moving too to make you more competitive for trials. I don't know. I assume it's something like that. I'm sure we'll get yelled at by people play console, but let's just assume that it makes you more competitive. No, I don't think we would. You don't reckon, you don't think we're headed that way? You don't think this is a telegraphing moment for that? No. I don't know. I mean, I'm, it, I'm kind of on the fence. Work. It is a lot of work for like... Yeah, that's so that's the thing for me. I'm like, well, why, why have they done it? Is it a lot of work? Then? I don't know. I don't know. It seems like a lot of work. <laughs> the write-up on it there is pretty extensive and there's, you know, it's it's interesting. Right. It's just not something I'm going to go through and read. Hey, let the art switch chat because they're, they're, they're game developers. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you play Destiny, no, no, sorry, definitely... Reddit. Let's get a Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom's got a fair point. Everything in game development is a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, even, yeah, that's true. And, and I don't in fact, know, maybe... the things that the things that seem more simple are usually really fucking hard to <laughs> just change the ammo. Just give power ammo back. Just give power <laughs> ammo back. Ooh, break the fucking. Game. Um, but an interesting change, definitely. That's um, I, I didn't. It's not one that I saw coming. I, I assume that you know there'll be some people that play on controller that'll be like, well, I'm, I've got ingrained kind of habits and shit that I'll never break, so I probably don't need to remap it. But I, I think that there are probably a few people out there who'd be absolutely ecstatic with this because it'll give them a real opportunity to customize their their setup. So yeah, yeah. without without paying money to get like a custom controller yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know what I really want? What? And this is, and this is like, what? chat will tell me this already exists, but I've spoke to Sassy and I'm pretty sure it does it and it can't, it can't. Okay. So you know how sometimes this is what I complained about when you killed me. If I'm, if I'm running Luna, it's in my secondary slot and I have a shot in my first slot. Yep. If I'm running die promise, I have a, I've died promise in my first slot and a shot in my second slot. Right, and I'm so you you get ingrained in your switch key. They're like scroll up, switch for me, and scroll down, switch for me. But then if I switch guns, right, so the shotty gets switched around, it goofs up, you know, my reflexes. Yeah, so so what you really want is like, do you use a, a button to switch your weapon, or do you use like one and two? I use scroll up and scroll down the mouse wheel. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So the thing is, the so I stopped stop doing that. I st- I stopped doing that for that exact reason. I've got it mapped to a button so that it's just swap between my primary and secondary. And it doesn't matter which is which. So it kind of negates that issue. But I do agree. It's fucking annoying. because yeah. that's And I remapped my thing. I was set up the same yeah. as you were. If you have a single button, you can do it. The thing with using a mouse wheel, if you don't just do one scroll, it will cycle the gun twice. That's yeah, the issue okay. with it. Okay. So if you have just a single button press, you can do the swap between primary and secondary. But if you have a mouse wheel, it triggers it both times. So if, yeah, you, okay. if you're panicking and you just do a flick on the mouse wheel, it will go like shoddy, you know, pistol, shoddy, pistol. And you're, oh, fuck's sake. Now I'm back with pistol. Can't you just map it so that like scroll up is to you, your weapon slot one, scroll down is to uh, weapon slot I can't get the, I can't get the combination right. And right I'm, we're going sure to we're gonna have to look at that because yeah. I'm pretty sure that's mine was that way. Like where it was just scroll up was one weapon, scroll down was another. All right. Well, everyone tune into the next stream because I've done this on stream before and everyone yelled at me that you can do it. And then we realized 
if if you are not accurate with the mouse scroll, like it will it will it will it will cycle your guns twice. Yeah, um, the issue. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to resolve it. Either way, either way, it's um, I don't, I, yeah. <laughs> All, all the numbers are going down. People are leaving. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this guy, what is this guy talking about destiny? You can't even sort his fucking mouse out. <laughs> all right. So closing can out I, on the season, the word you, you can, whatever. It's can just I me do a and side you. tangent story that's nothing to yeah. do with destiny. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right. No, listen. Okay. I feel like. I feel like my stories makes everyone feel welcome because it's so uneducated, right? Yeah. <laughs> People are like, I feel smart here. I like hanging out here. <laughs> Matt's an idiot, right? <laughs> so what happened? I was uh, my PhD, right? Uh, I was I was doing computer coding clubs for kids with autism, and we had we had the we had a showcase day where all the kids get up and they show the games that they've made, and of course you know, social skills are not their like strength yeah. and they get super nervous about it. So I get up there, right. And I show them my game and the parents just fucking ripped me to shreds. Cause it was this shitty Batman game that I made. I had like, <laughs> there was no level to it. It was like, it was literally just Batman with no animation. It was one bit. I'm like, here's my Batman game. I was like running around jumping. And one of the parents yells out from the back. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> but listen, Oh. All the kids, all the kids were like, all the kids are like, hell yeah, I I can beat Matt. And every single kid with autism, like 20 kids got up and showed their games and it was a raging success. So I'm just saying, I'm not purposely shit, but there's an advantage for me not knowing <laughs> stuff because it makes you feel better. I know you well there enough you. to know that that's, I mean, in that context, it's the absolute truth, but in Destiny, it's not. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, no, that is that is nice. There's um Yeah, I mean I think I think that's one of the things that we do well as Australians actually is kind of get in and take the piss out of ourselves to make everyone feel yeah. pretty welcome about things. That's a kind of a national trait. So yeah, yeah. definitely springboarding off up. that. All right, we'll wrap up the tour here. Um shit shit that's pissing off with season of the worthy. Uh see there's a season of the worthy worthy season pass and any available bonuses on that will piss off. Uh, the Worthy Seal and Almighty Seal. Oop, the Worthy Seal and Almighty title will piss off. Uh, you need to... Here's the important one. If you've unlocked that, you need to equip it. Equip it, unequip it if you have to, but you need to have equipped it, otherwise you lose it. So put the title on, take it off. Very good. Really? Yep. It's just a little foible in the system. Um, you will no longer have access to the EDZ, Moon, and IO Seraph bunkers. I might go in there at actual season reset and just be locked in there for forever because I assume they're just going to close. <laughs> the just, doors oh, closed? Log Power Slave just <laughs> he got caught in there for forever. Yeah. <laughs> um, Warmind Kenjali, season artifact, and the power player, the player power increased from said artifacts, so artifacts are resetting. Uh, the Seraph Tower public event is going bye-bye. And the fourth horseman and Felwinter's lie quests are going a bye bye. So if you haven't gone through, especially Felwinter's, because I did that on Wednesday night, I think finally I just I did decided I wasn't going to concentrate on it. Just got the shotgun kills in due course, planned what I was going to play, and uh, I really enjoyed it. I kind of didn't feel like I, I ground out. You know, everyone was complaining about having to do the shotgun grind. I didn't feel like I did that at all. It kind of just popped up. I went did it. Happy days. Um, pretty engaging, man. I thought it was good. I like those. Oh, the fell into quest the, is great. The hologram fucking sort of story oh, yeah. things. I think they've always yeah. done that well from launch of D2 yeah. onwards. Yeah. Um so yeah. So we have looks like a little bit of downtime for seasonal reset. Um, does it say that? Yeah. So we're we're looking at a few hours there. But um yeah. Just find something else to do with your time, I suppose. <laughs> Go outside. <laughs> um, oh, actually, the other thing in the twab this week, IRL Guardian getting the fucking um, winning the the movie of the week. It is uh, definitely worth your time. It's pretty inspirational. I enjoyed it a lot. 
Uh, he's a good guy, so go and go and have a look. So shout out to to him, uh, getting people up and moving, kicking and shit around their house. It's uh, something that we can we can all get on board with, I think, unless you're a real nice. pacifist. So good job. Um, but yeah, I mean that that leaves us uh, pretty much ready to dive into the law, Maddie. What do you reckon? What do you? What's this right. theory? What's this grand theory you've been cooking? Okay, listen, listen, listen. Have you rewatched? Remember the invitation of the nine cutscenes every week that we got? Yeah. Right. Have you ever? Have you ever gone back and watched them as a collection? <laughs> no. You know who you're talking to, mate. <laughs> Is that a rhetorical do you question? Know, do you know how many times the drifter gets shown the pyramid ships and those things? Do you remember, take? What's a takeaway message from those scenes? The pyramid ships yeah. coming. Let, let me let me read you. Okay, no, let you me tell me you. actually, because then you get to tell everyone that's listening to this and the podcast yeah. functions better. It wouldn't work right. if I just knew the answer, would it? No. See, I've got to be the dumbass. To... It's come full circle. Um, <laughs> Realised how it works. Um, yeah. This is what the drift. This is what the drift. This is my next video, by the way. Don't steal it. This is what the drifter says to you when you when you finish one of the cutscenes. I'm in over my head, kid. Emissary and her friends showed me what's coming. And it's what I feared all along. Put aside your dogma. The fight that's coming can't be won with a light alone. Gambit's your salvation and mine. See you on the field. Okay. Gambit, baby. New Gambit game coming. No. Mm. Uh, so, listen. Does that mean that, like, if this thing comes and happens that we no longer ever have to play Gambit again? <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure that'd be pretty well received at this point. Let's talk it. Let's talk it through. Okay. What's the significance of Gambit Log? Well, it, it's a training well, exercise for view. controlling the darkness, right? Like it's a like the the pretty moats close. and banking the moats and all of that. Sort yeah, of shit. moats was, of darkness, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember how the uh, the drifter? Do you remember how the drifter found this technology? Yeah, it was on that. How did you... creepy planet where everyone died? Yeah, he went to the creepy icy planet and found beings that drained the darkness. Yep. And I actually missed this in my first video. He killed his crew because they all lost the light because Gaul invaded the city, right? He was the last remaining guardian on this icy planet. He then hunted down every ghost from his crew. He killed their ghost and took their parts and gave it to his ghost. His ghost got the ability to capture the dark creatures. Those dark creatures are now in the derelict. Those things frozen in the containers are the creatures he took from that. And the technology he developed from that was the, the banking, the moats. And then also he was gifted the ascendant plane, yeah, the, the pocket universe. The giant nutsack from the, the back of the ship. From the nine, the nutsack from the nine. <laughs> so he has been building a taken army through dark moats and they live in the ascendant plane that he, the nutsack he drags behind his ship, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it isn't it? Wait, it isn't it? Anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's the reckoning, right? That's where you go in the reckoning. Yeah. That's in there. That's where they will live. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it says ascendant plane in one of the. Um, it doesn't matter. It's where the take it up um, in one of the law cards. It says it says it's not a throne world, but it's an ascendant plane, basically. Um, so he's quite special and he's going to the new icy planet, right? Is it the new when icy spin, planet or is it the same icy planet that he got the No, it's a different because that first icy planet is meant to be outside the system. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's a different one. I mean, assu I assume it's that yep. it's, um, Europa, right? Europa, yeah. The, the nine, every, not, not every scene, but a lot of the scenes, the drifter is having visions of the darkness coming. And he says, basically, we're going to need more than the light. The nine say that only three people have ascended their like purpose or whatever. Drifter. And then we get cryptic clues in the last two, the hourglass that is forever patient or whatever. And the, the forgotten blade uh, sharpened anew. So the drifter and two others right now, it, we have Eris Morn gone. I thought it wasn't Mara implied to be one of them and was, what's his name? The creepy. Um, Mithrax? Yeah. 
Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just me reading too many of Anon's tweets. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. Here's the quote before. He secured a pocket. Of, he secured a pocket of the ascendant plane, not a throne world, uh, but big enough to big, big enough of a chunk to matter. That's from the bright side of a bad idea, law entry. So, um, I'm thinking, the three people who have ascended their purpose are going to be the three characters that go to Europa. And Ooh. if that theory is correct, because they all use different things, right? The Drifter has a ghost that can capture darkness or, or trap darkness or trap dark creatures, right? Yep. The um, Eris Morn was trapped in the hive Hellmouth and lost her light. She also has freaky powers now. She's been able to teleport us. She's been able to do all sorts of other loopy shit when we, when we had things. So maybe she's the forgotten blade sharpened anew. Maybe she's the hunter. That lost the light, sharpened anew in the darkness. Hey, yeah, okay, right. <laughs> and the third, and then the third person would have to be someone else who's transcended their powers, which I think would be Mara Sov, as an awoken half darkness, half light. These are all characters that don't solely rely on the light to face a new threat. That's my theory. <laughs> da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da, 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 da. Um, shit. So yeah, all right. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a bit to digest there, Maddie. But um, that's pretty epic when you think about it. I think it's we, we've long sort of spoken about how you know Destiny has the characters now. We in and we were glad to be seeing more of them sort of put into into the the actual plots driving through and not just being vendors so if that's the case mm. and we get to see kind of drifter in action eris in action marisov in action holy shit <laughs> people will flip tables so my my next prediction is it'd be really cool for it to be mara for mara to reappear in europa well, and I the mean... plot the plot the plot line being we need more than light Dark subclasses are coming. <laughs> yeah! Yes! Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't think we're going to have to wait too long to find out, like, how on the money this is because of the big reveal coming mid next week. But, dude, that is, uh, dude, that, that's epic, do you imagine actually. If it, do you imagine if they do dark subclasses and the pyramid ships arrive in September and we have to have powers beyond the light? I think, New um, subclasses. It kind of, I, like, uh, honestly, it makes sense. The way you've spelled it out, it, it makes sense. And it's sort of been sitting there waiting to be fulfilled, all of that sort of stuff. The nine and, you know, I think I think a lot of people thought that they just moved away from it entirely, right? That, like, Trials of the Nine was like all that nine law kind of, oh, well, we'll just leave that. But it never really did. It's, it's sort of always been there, ready to, and waiting to be picked back up on. And, oh, man. Um, mm. the other so why, thing, why Europa? What's, what's the deal with Europa? What do you reckon? Um, oh, okay. I only thought of this last night. This is a fucking, this is how everything ties together, right? So season of worthy, they sneak in a law tab from Solaris sales or something. It's a ship and it's a law tab. There's only three, there's only th something like three law entries in all of destiny that mention Europa. One is trying to describe the nine and you know that that original d1 card that's like the nine are leviathans in the seas of europa or some shit like that yeah or in the hydrocarbon pits of europa that's one i can't remember the second the third is this new one that I just released and it's basically two we don't even know who they are it's very cryptic but what they say is oh we have to go to europa the old man's gonna be there with one of his pet projects and then they're, then they're talking about barbecues, right? They're like, they're like me, mate, Dave's going to have to look after the kids in the pool. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, what the f <laughs> me, mate, So we're Dave. sending Australians to Europa. <laughs> Dave has yeah, mine and the kids. I mean, I can read it too if you want. I can read it too if you guys yeah, want to right read now. it. Yeah, right now. Let's do it because I want to hear about it. Do you want to do it? Do we have it, time? How much does Dave feature in this? We've got plenty of time. It's fine. No, it's, it's really odd, right? Let, let me read it to you then. I'll just get... Because at first I didn't I didn't get what it was trying to do, 
uh, with that. I was like, why is it talking about this? Okay, yeah, sorry. It's only mentioned uh, three times. Ghost Fragment Legends 2, The Legacy. Oh, okay, so the word Europa was mentioned pre-season with, uh, with Anna Bray. With, uh, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. Okay. Calm down. Okay, all right, calm down. <laughs> it's, it's a deal yep. with Rasputin. Okay, right. this is the that's, that's the finish. Take your time. That's the finish, right? It's it's the finale. Yep. Um, Legends two is about the nine, and this new one called Solar Sails. All right, listen, just have a listen. It's it's pretty short. Can you read it in your it, like normal voice, not the law voice? <laughs> wait, do you want do you want the law voice or not? Nah, not the law voice. Just the normal voice. <laughs> I just I just oh, he's got the bucket. <laughs> Yeah, no, do it properly. <laughs> like in the bucket? Yeah, yeah, go on. Yep. I don't know if I can see it from the bucket, though. I mean, how do you do it normally? <laughs> Record this shit. This will probably work. What did they find out there? Everyone's being tight-lipped. Whatever it is, it's important enough to drag us out here. We're not the only ones either. Wish we were going to Titan instead. Hell, anywhere but Europa was hoping not to spend my summer on frozen tundra. Hey, I get it. We just got a new pool. Hey, I get it. We just got a new pool. pool. Now Dave, <laughs> the pool. Now Dave's going to be stuck cleaning it. We'll have to bring the kids over when we get back. Hopefully this is a quick turnaround. Doubt it. This feels big. I've heard even the old man himself is there. Crap. Really? Another one of his pet projects. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Aren't there, aren't there all, aren't they all at this point? I wish that guy would take a break. He's not happy unless he's broken some natural law and made us all complicit. I'm going to start looking for the other work. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> I'm back. Welcome. It just shatters so many people's perceptions of like Mylon studiously studying the law and narrating his fucking YouTube videos. But nah, it's just some dumb cunt in his office with a fucking box on his head. <laughs> <coughs> so anyway, at first, right? At first, I was like, I was at the first, I was like, firstly, who's the old man? I initially thought of Rasputin because Osiris recently called Rasputin old man. Yep. I'm like, Rasputin's on Europa. That's going to be the tie-in. But then I just kept thinking, what the fuck is Dave and his pool in this? Yeah, what, what, is this what point does it serve? <laughs> and then I thought, oh, this is, a, this is an indicator that this is pre-collapse because no one has pools now. So this, the reason why it's, it, they put this in is they're telling us the timeline of this event. This event is when the collapse hasn't occurred again yet. This is this must be golden yep. age. This is golden age, yeah. Okay. So this okay. So now this is golden age, and they're going to Europa. So that means who would be the old man in the golden age that's trying to break the natural laws? Old Clovis. Clovis, old Clovis Bray. Bray. The what did bear. Clovis Bray develop? <sighs> yeah. Right. Okay. Exoscience, baby. Okay, now let's. Yeah, now let's, this, now this let's, is where I thought this was going to get to. Hey, right, like this is, and now everyone. I'm surprised that people, more people, haven't been making this jump about Europa yet. But there's a. Yeah. That's that's why I get paid the big dollars, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, yeah. don't don't make this video. If I swear to God, if you guys make a Reddit post about this and it gets millions of views, I'm going to punch you on the nut sack. Okay, I haven't Good posted the podcast. This yet. Actually, just do that. <laughs> Yeah, actually, clip this whole segment. We'll post it on Twitter. Um, <laughs> this is this is a punchline, right? Add to it that we had the preseason law. What was that about? That was about Anna Bray discovering that Rasputin's mind had been split, or there was protocols to split Rasputin's mind into these partitions in case he uh, wasn't behaving. The last place that she went to was a satellite off Europa from memory. And she gets attacked by those things. So there's going to be, 
there's going to be a Clover Spray, Rasputin, and a Bray link. I think. I would love to see, like, somehow maybe maybe Clover Spray's there. Maybe he's an exo. Maybe he's half. Maybe we meet Clover Spray, half person, half Rasputin, half exo. The seven. I don't know. Well, he's not going to be a guardian because he was a pretty huge piece of shit, wasn't he? Oh, but we had heaps of them in the history of. Yeah, true. I mean, fucking. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do I need to remind you of the warlords? Yeah. The warlords. Yeah. was just, just. Yeah. Yeah. I just realized. Oh, I, I a lot realized of people have been saying the exo stranger. But tell me, tell me why you think the Exo Stranger, apart from Cosmo saying soon, which could be a very big clue. I, yeah, but that that would also tie in. You could it could tie into exactly the same thing, right? Well, Clovis Bray's the Exo Stranger. <laughs> well, no, Elsie Bray's his fucking daughter, who's the Exo Stranger. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to reintroduce right. that character, it's gonna. <laughs> It's going to probably be something to do with Clovis Bray, some overarching shit. And she is an EXO, so how did she become one? Maybe we can talk about that. I don't know. What if, what if, you know, the, the very first scene of the EXO Stranger? Yes. Oh, where she's talking to someone? Yep. What if it's Papa what if Bear? Talking, what if it's Papa Bear? <laughs> Dude, this is all you grounded. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking twins. Luke Smith said that arc is done, though. Well, look. <laughs> oh, yeah, but we got more. Of, yeah, Luke Smith said that it was done, and then we got the, the Warmind DLC. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. Luke Smith said that he wanted our 10th Better Devils to be special. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> He's the king of the trolls, He's but let's just not take, let's, let's not the take the fact that you know, he said that that story had come to its conclusion or a, a total a total fucking end game sum, right? <laughs> end sum game or whatever. I think, look, if they're going to... Uh, shit, there's a lot there. <laughs> there's a lot there. Um, Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, look, if you're right. in chat, if you're in chat and you've got any questions, please fire away now because my brain is like, I'm surprised. If I didn't have earphones in, there would be smoke coming out of my ears for me just trying to... The Law Hobbits, the Law Hobbits are the... throffing right now. Yeah, oh, mate. Put your boner down, type in some words. <laughs> Get your fucking hand off it. <laughs> hands, hands off. Hands above the table, you cheeky little hobbitses. <laughs> hands oh. off <laughs> and uh go give him a wash and then you can use your keyboard again uh, i um yeah i mean that would if we could i don't know i mean obviously they're gonna need to 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 round out it'd be it'd be a nice way to round out a whole heap of different sort of tangential story arcs that we've had sort of sitting in destiny for forever right um dude but they could bring back mara they could do the nine they do the drifter Eris Morn, um, Clovis Bray, Exo Stranger. Ex yeah, hang on. Exo Stranger. But Exo Stranger, we know that the Exo Stranger time travels, right? Yeah. Yeah, so then we bring back Cade 6. <laughs> so then we go back in time and fucking change this, change that, everything. Ah, oh, it's time's wibbly wobbly. It's all fucked. <laughs> That's not our time. I don't know. I'm surprised. I'm surprised there's not more been more people talking about Cade because there there is a little sniff of hope there around that. Personally, I don't care. I don't miss him, but I'm sure a lot of people do. <laughs> I don't think it will happen ever. Well, you don't? I think it will happen right at the very end. <laughs> I think, oh, okay. The only thing I'd be happy with is like destiny conclusion. Yep. And, 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 and for it to be not necessarily like, set in stone that they bring him back but just do like a inception conclusion you know <laughs> like he's just out of reach in some wibbly wobbly time warp and we get to talk to him again but it leaves the hope that maybe you could bring him back but he doesn't come back you want to just give people the gift of disappointment <laughs> <laughs> yes i'm on board with it <laughs> yes. All right, Matt Grundy's got a question here. Matt Grundy's got a question. Let's scroll back. Stop scrolling, chat. Oh my god, people talking. I tell question. you, you bring the law hobbits out. They're here in force oh, today. Man, it's fucking. It's wild. Uh, this one has nothing to do with law. Uh, 
with GCX okay. signing that guitarist dude. I don't know what this is about. And considering that Fortnite always has concerns for their live events, concerts for their live events, do you think Des- tomorrow's Destiny event will feature a live performance from Dragon Force? <laughs> Honestly, if that happens, I will die as happy as a pig in shit because that would be incredible. But I, <laughs> I dude, there is like four plot twists in the space of your fucking question. Well done. <laughs> I didn't know where that so was who going. Did G- G- Herman Lee. Sign. Who did GCX yeah, sign? They signed Herman. Herman is um the lead. Well, I mean, they have two lead guitarists, truly, really, but Dragon Force. You, if you've never, if you're not into your your power metal. Uh, you probably remember them as the band with the fucking incredibly impossible song at the end of uh, Guitar Hero 3, uh, Through the Fire and the Flames. Um, oh, yeah. is that? Yeah, right. Yeah, they're that band. So, I mean, they've got a long, long association with video games, I guess, now. So, um, I mean, Herman, yeah, he's he's been getting heaps more into streaming and all that sort of stuff sort of through COVID. So it wouldn't surprise oh, me right. if he does start to get a bit more involved in stuff. Um, but... Man, I didn't I didn't know that they'd done that. I had missed that entirely. So if you want to just shoot me articles on Twitter, I will absolutely read the fuck out of it. Link me. Um, but if Dragon <laughs> if we can get Dragon Force playing at a Destiny event, um, yeah, just that'll that'll do it. That'll do it for me. Um that's we got a question from your boy. Your yeah, boy ninety ninety six. Your boy thoughts on, on Aldrin. I think they're going to leave uh, that for a little while. Yeah. I think that's going to be like a, a side boil, like a, you know, like the Exo Stranger has been for fucking five years. <laughs> just a yeah. Just sit over there I, and. I I don't. Out of all the storylines, I feel like Aldrin doesn't really need to move forward as much. Like we know that he's just depressed. If anything. You know, maybe he could come in at the end and save everyone. I don't know. I don't think he needs to go forwards. I think it's fine. I think he's he's had his time in the sun. Yeah. I think it's just I think they're basically with that whole law kind of tie in, they're more or less playing on our emotions with that. <laughs> like for the Aldrin clip of him being rezzed and all of that sort of stuff. That was that was a oh. year ago now, right? <laughs> like in before that- in before he's the forgotten blade, or well, maybe <laughs> that, that match that matches pretty well, to be honest. Oh, what's the other one? Can we can we ascribe errors to the other one? What's the description of the one that we don't know? It's like the hourglass with infinite patience. It, it's very Marari, but it's very Osirisy. It's very timey wimey, powerful. Didn't Eris just chill out in the? You know, wait for the hive to fuck off for forever. That's an hourglass. Days of our lives, straight up. Fucking, do you see this square hole? <laughs> <laughs> how long? How long does law? How long just does law? I just jump to assumptions. Uh, make it work. Very, very exo strange. Oh, hang on. Yeah, the exo strange is a time yeah, traveler. Strangey. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's true as well. Well, guess so things- what, Chad? Why don't you fucking make a YouTube video for once rather than criticizing me? <laughs> Go on, post post your Gmails in chat. I'll transfer the account to you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it better be good. You better have it out on fucking 9 a.m. on a Monday morning, all right? <laughs> yeah, the next upload's in two days, by the way. Yeah. Get working. Cracking. Uh, all right, what Get else cracking. have we got? What else have we got? Law, You've also got to pay Gmail's bill for the artwork. <laughs> yeah, you gotta wear a bucket on your head. Get down to Bunnings and sort yourself one out. <laughs> All right, what other questions have we got? Holy shit, this thing's killing me with its um with the auto scroll when you're trying to read something. Yeah, it's just it's it's fighting me hard. Um big hard. It's gonna be Paul McCartney and you're gonna like it. I actually like that Paul McCartney song. <laughs> Do you not remember that song, Matt? Yeah, I do. And I'm like, why do you like it? What? I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's Paul McCartney. <laughs> well, I did Law. <laughs> I did two episodes of Law and got bored of it. <laughs> I'm like, what? This is way too much reading. <laughs> uh, uh, do we have any questions or are you just struggling to find a question right yeah, I'm now? Just, I was struggling to find one, but here's a good one. Cal Drago, will you guys choose darkness over light if there's a choice? 
I think hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, here's a here's a good here's a good topic to talk about. Okay. Okay. I know chat's pretty creative like this because most of them are honorary game developers, so they're pretty good at this kind of stuff. <laughs> right? No. If you have to have if you have to have dark Toxic. powers, if you have to have dark powers, right? Yep. Tell me the class and tell me what the dark power would be. Because I've been thinking like. Okay, let's say oh, you get dark, fuck, okay. dark powers. And the thing is, void, void is so close to almost being a, like, it's not, it's the light. So it can't be too voidy. It's got to be dark, right? I was thinking this. And the way that I started is rather than um, making completely new ones, I just like altered the, the current dark powers. So let's say you tether, right? Rather than tether strings coming out, imagine if someone was in the tether proximity and like these shadow fucking law goblins come up and like <laughs> grab your ankles, right? Oh, so and you, hold you in like, place. Yeah, like yeah, and they, yeah, they hold yeah, right. you in place. So it's sort of the same. It's just visually a little bit different, so it looks cool. But you could do something completely different. What would be your? Do you have, do you have a dark power that you would think about? Oh, dude, I don't know. I mean, how do you reimagine a, a striker titan in darkness? Like that's that's fuck. It's a hard question, right? Yeah, um, I think hunters and warlocks are a bit easier than titans would probably be hard. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, Unless you just can, change can the color we... of all the lightning to like black. <laughs> okay, how about crazy. this? How about this, right? Yep. Um, you get what's called shadow punch, right? And when you do your super, it's it's just, you just go, just like, yeah, and just like this massive, like massive shadow punch just comes out and it, its impact is the same as like, um, boob cannon right so you just blast it down a hallway <laughs> and and everyone, <laughs> everyone just goes, so it's it's exactly fucking what's the arrow dude from overwatch's dragon move <laughs> except it's yeah, a fist. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that won't get toxic at all people are getting fucking punched through walls <laughs> fucking aimbot is delight let's go <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm all for it. It sounds crazy if they fix the fact that there's fucking wall axe in this game. I mean, otherwise, there's just going to be people punching through fucking six walls to kill someone with a fist that they can't even see coming. It's a terrible idea. Yeah, but it's a super. You can't do it all the time. Yeah, I, I think... Um, yeah, but supers that go through yeah, walls... I'm going to I'm gonna need to think about this, that if if we reimagine the subclasses... It, like, so you're saying that like if each existing sort of... Elemental type also had like a dark had, area. Had a dark version. Yeah, yeah. okay. Mm. Just like Pokemon. Yeah, it's a, low, a Lohan version. I want to I wanna hear, if you're watching this video, wherever you are, jump into DDU Discord, shameless plug, and like I think this is a conversation we can have as a community. Oh, do you reckon, like do you reckon, reckon we can... Right, we got to pull people in. No, nah, dude, I haven't got it set up for that. But uh, Oh, right. <laughs> you you won't be able to hear it. In. No, I don't mean, I don't mean on the voice. I mean um, just in the actual chat thing. I actually need to. Oh, yeah, well, I've, got, heap, I've got a few things to. Doing fucking chat right now. So. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, yeah. Fuck. Okay. I don't know. I mean, yeah, you're right in saying that probably the hunters and warlocks being the 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 more shadowy kind of, like, I mean, probably the most evil one already is the bloody tickle fingers warlock, right? It's like Palpatine from Star Wars, <laughs> straight off the bat. So any kind of Sith power, maybe the the Titans could have like a, a fucking something that pulls people in, right? Like towards them, like a, a fucking, oh, a, like, like a reef. Get o- yeah, get o- like, like a fucking get, scorpion. Get over here. Get over here. And then, I don't know. Yeah. Punch him in the some face. People, <laughs> yes. Some people were talking about um, uh, like gravity impacting ones. So rather than putting a bubble down, right? A bubble contains opposite yeah, it's like of a that. gravity well that sort of. It's a gravity well. And it's then you can just like, ah! um, <laughs> you can just and there's just this titan gun. in the middle of it with a shotgun out going, yep. <laughs> shotgun and triple uppercut. Shotgun and triple uppercut. Yeah. Um, Bibletron said a taken scythe. I mean, any of the sword ones would be easy. Yeah. Imagine that not, rather than blades, run around with a scythe. Yeah. Put your soul out. Yeah. I think um I think most of them you could you could kind of just have be the same mechanic but reimagined visually. If if we're like I think I mean, people, that, would be, people would people be a little be bit okay disappointed that? by that. 
Yeah. Like it, but if if we had an extra tree added to each of them, and then you got the light, the light or the dark variant of each. I think people would be pretty pretty chuffed for that. It's a hell of a lot of fucking particle physics <laughs> to be to be going on though. I like the idea of the yeah. the old scorpion harpoon. I'm gonna fucking take that all the way to the bank. Yeah, yeah, that I shit, dude. Imagine the scorpion harpoon. You can bring people in, just, and just uh, whack them. I just want to fucking be dishing out the get over here. I think that'd be <laughs> get her over here. Um, I was thinking for like warlocks. Warlocks definitely have to have a summon ability, like summoning dark hive or something like that. <laughs> just as like trolls. yeah er in your trolls match you're in the third round it's neck and neck and then you're about to slide through the bottom doorway on anomaly because you think there's there's, a, there's an enemy there you slide through with your shotgun and 30 thrall just go <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you're just overwhelmed and then you have to kill yeah. them as well oh um yeah, that that yeah, it, it kind of does have a necromancer vibe. Bibble's right; it's kind of that, you know. That's a, yeah. a bit ESO ish, in my opinion. Uh, rather, okay, here you go. Rather, everyone wants to self res warlock. I mean, everyone would hate this, right? Rather than revive yourself, it's like um, what's it? What's the Overwatch chick? Am I just using Overwatch stuff? Is this what's happening? <laughs> you can bring your teammates, bring your teammates back to life, but they're like shadow guardians. Yeah, you're using Overwatch and I'm using Mortal Kombat. That's basically all that's happening here. We're just showing our age. We've got no original ideas, but we can port shit from other places. You have to admit, Destiny's pretty unique with its supers. Yeah, yeah. And even among themselves, like when you think how differently, you know, the two sort of uh, Fist of Havoc variants, you know, like the missile one, where you just literally fly through the fucking air. That's stupid. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. stupid. Good question, I don't think though. we'll get new subclass, but it would be a big deal if we did. We would know about it, surely. Well, I don't think any of us were really seeing it coming for um, Forsaken either. So, But you know what they could do? They could do this because I do think it's going in that direction. In a lot of the seasons, we get like some sort of weapon, like the Valkyrie or... Um, like the Valkyrie or help me out, chat, like the... What other things? What other things do you get? No, nah, I'm just enjoying watching five. you drown. <laughs> you mean like mechanic specific weapons, like the Valkyries yeah, in the like, season? We've had the big robot summons and yeah, yeah, that yeah. sort of shit. Yeah, there definitely yeah. could be some sort of dark mission like that where they give you some sort of power. From remember, we had that mission where we went invisible with Eris, and we had to go and collect Crota's soul and stuff like that. Yep, yep. It could yeah, be. Okay. There could be an option there. Iron yeah. Lord Axe. Hey, I saw a really good meme about the Iron Lords. <laughs> You're going to recite a meme? Is that what? <laughs> yeah, but I was like, can I remember? It's something like, what is? what are the Iron Lords and trees have in common? What? They both go down if you chop them with the big axe. <laughs> <laughs> Oof's in chat. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Uh, um, all right, okay. Yeah, uh, Newt, Newt's, Newt's got a bit of a comment here. Uh, maybe this is so obvious, no one feels it's worth mentioning. But has anyone made a connection between the Drifter saying Gambit is our salvation and our Darkness mirrors at the end of Shadow Keep saying they are our salvation? Well, I mean, yeah, I think the connection. Oh, what do those Darkness mirrors mean? What does it mean? Can someone make a video on it? <laughs> the numbers listen. <laughs> the numbers listen. <laughs> I can't remember. What did I say about that? What, what did I say about the darkness mirror? Is this, wasn't it just a reflection on like, who are the good guys? Like the darkness and the, the, the gardener and the winner being like, we are the good guys. Well, I mean the whole, the whole idea that the darkness might be saying we're your salvation. It sort of links to the idea that we're saying you need more than the light to defeat the pyramid ships. Yeah. But like, if the pyramid ships are the darkness, by using the darkness, aren't we allowing them to win more or less? Like you can't. Maybe that's can maybe we that's use, the irony of it. Can we turn around and use the light against the traveler, and then just get left the fuck alone? For okay. Forever? Is this not just like some Star Wars plot? Like to, to to defeat the big baddie, you need to like embrace fucking the darkness, and then you end up becoming the big baddie. Yeah, more or less. That's that's kind of the way it feels. It's got that kind of <laughs> jewel of the fates. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a talent. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, jeez. If you were watching hey, this we podcast, gotta have some... let me ask you a question. Dude. Why? <laughs> Why? Why do you watch? Um, Why? You know what we need to be doing. What do we need to be doing, Matty? We need, we need to take a book from my page and we need to be doing the Twitter, the the DDU gone live yeah. Twitter videos because I yeah. feel like today we've we've got Yeah, a, we've, we've got probably set ourselves up for a good month of content. <laughs> <laughs> Log verbally attempting to do Jewel of the Fates, probably the most epic scored cinema piece in fucking history. <laughs> a book from my page. Yes, a book from the page. Yeah. Um. All right, well, well look, We've got time for a couple more questions. If you've got them, fire them off in chat. If not, we'll uh, we'll find someone to host. And look, honestly, um, it's been a g- I've had a great time with this today. Like this this yeah, comes and goes, and I, I had like that kind of feeling where oh shit, there's not a lot to talk about, but there's also plenty to talk about in terms of you know like plenty to speculate on, but not a whole lot of hard fact in the in the twelve. So um, thanks for turning out. Thanks for asking questions if you have, and thanks for getting involved because it, it makes this a hell of a lot of fun for me and Maddie to sit here and just spin yeah. shit. <laughs> We get to talk over some law theories and all that cool stuff. But um, uh, question, what time is it where you guys are? It is 1.22 p.m. 11.20 so, a.m. Through the week, if you're looking for a stream to hang out in, Log Power Slave will probably be live about now. Shameless. Yeah. Black, 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 black. No, black. no, you need, you need to be on earlier than now because I would get off around. Yeah, no, I'll be, I'll be getting on. What time are you getting off? 12? I'll get on, like, what's the least amount of time we have to interact before before you'll host me? <laughs> oh, I, mate, you've got it. You just let me know. You just let me know. Log I power I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm looking baby. forward to getting in and actually getting to play games with Maddie for a change rather than fucking passing like ships in the night like usual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, we're going to find um, someone actually, to host. I'm only going to host you if you play Escape from Tarkov. Oh, well, make some new friends. Fuck a you, buddy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, can I talk about what's happening on Monday or Sunday night? Oh, I forgot to message Fez, but I'm going to go ahead and say yes. No, 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 not that. No. Oh, your your thing. Okay. We. Yep. Yeah. Can we talk? I tried to ask Felicia. I don't know if we can talk about it. It's okay. Look, what we'll do, we'll do the filthy tease. Please, the early part of next week. Keep your eyes peeled on the DDU fucking Twitter because there will be announcements yes. about things that are incredibly cool that we're going to be doing yes. very shortly thereafter. The the day of reveal, fucking stick around. I'll be streaming. There might be some other stuff happening. Just just stick around. The the re, the reveal day. Um, yeah, there's a thing. So what I was going to say. Chuck a sticky, don't ad. go to work. I'm hashtag <laughs> ad. Inbound. Oh, self-promotion games here. Finally got disc plate approved, which is the metal oh, artwork. Dude, yeah, yeah. This is this is that exciting. you can buy. And it's literally like magnets you put on your wall and then you buy the artwork, which is all by Gamma Trap, and you just stick it on your wall. And if a new piece of artwork comes out that you really fucking love, you just can get that and then you stick it back up on the wall. And so you don't have to have your whole room covered in posters like some boy band from the fucking 1990s and you can have some nice <laughs> sophisticated sophisticated artwork in your beautiful know, like if you have trouble getting artwork in your place because of maybe significant others that are like no don't drill hole no name old god this is for you right i feel, I feel um, personally attacked by everything you just said <laughs> you you get you get 20% off for the first seven days. It's going to be the next video about the Drifter releasing Sunday afternoon, Monday morning, Australia time, Sunday afternoon, US time. And uh, what do you have against Hanson? <laughs> and um, you guys have seen Gamma Trap's artwork. It's dope. What we've done with it, because we couldn't go to Guardian Con this year because of COVID, and we usually sign everyone's, uh, every, we usually sign everyone's artwork there. We've got a sign- signatures collection. Now, there's two reasons you get the signatures collection. The first, if you actually want our signatures on it, we've added the 2020 uh, timestamp on it and our signatures, so you know it's from this year. 
the other reason why there's a signatures and a non-signatures collection because Displate said, um, yeah, the artwork's really cool. We'd probably prefer it if you didn't have your signature on it. Whoa. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> okay. Because they, they, they think other people will buy it that don't know the channel. Oh, so yeah, okay. Their, their, advice, their advice was to have two sections, one with the signature and one without. So, so I was going to put... Signature series. Mylan Games we've signature got a, series. We've got a signature series. So um, if you want our signature on it, there'll be a signature series. And it looks pretty cool. It's got like some gold writing on it and it's got 2020. It's not obnoxious, not fucking across the whole post or anything. It's just in the bottom corner. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. Use the link. We get heaps more money if you use the link from the commission, <laughs> like, like double. By the way, I'm splitting all of this with Gamma Trap. So this, yeah, yeah. this helps us out a lot. Yeah. Yeah. This is, I mean, that's it. It's all about being able to provide something with some, someone with something of quality. And if you get something out of it at the back end yeah. of it, that's more than fair enough, given you've done all the work to get it there. <coughs> no, it's the same price. It's the same price, Matt Grunny. There's no difference in price for the signature one. There's no difference in price at all. It's, it's the um, same price. How much silver is this? How much silver is this? <laughs> All right, well, we might wrap up there. It's been a it's been a cracking day. Thank you for uh, Daniel's direct with Mylan Games at the back end. That was beautiful. Bit of infomercials. <laughs> Maddie, where can the where can the law find people this week? Oh, Where's it gonna right, find people? Right, right. It's important. They need to know, otherwise they'll be unprepared when it finds them. Okay, the law can find you. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's got law written on it. <laughs> the law will Both find your face stories. in the form of a giant spaceship that kills you. The end. Oh, I'm sorry, that was bad. Whatever, get out. Everyone get out. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait around. Hold on, we're going to raid. No, we're going to raid. We're going to go raid, ain't He was on a couple of weeks ago. He's an absolute fucking champion. So please hang out. Go and make some noise in his chat. Make him feel fucking good. That's what we're all about here. We'll see you next week. Actually, we won't. We're going to see you midweek. There's your fucking tease. There's your tease. See you midweek. See you midweek. <laughs>